will be the third time I'm out here trying to get good video of Pinehurst Trail in Green Acres. I'm gonna see if this works this time. Welcome to the channel. Like that riding. And uh, subscribe. about four miles in here. And it's tight, twisty, and fun. Trail's located in Green Acres, Florida. Coming up to a log over. That took me a while to learn how to get up and over. Even though this trail has a lot of little technical spots that you can do, I try to stay to the outside and do the blue sunblock trail. You pick the right lines here. If you it could stay flowy a little bit. <laughs> There's no getting around that one. But overall, it's a great trail. It's really not even that popular. I think uh, to most people in the area, but to locals that live around here, it's great. It's almost better that way. But the more the merrier. The trails need to be ridden. But this is a great sport. Great way to stay in shape. Great way to enjoy the outdoors. Sorry to all my running friends, but riding a bike through these trails is much better than any run. And cooler with the wind and breeze. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Still not ready for these stairs. Huh. I think I just figured it out. I just tighten up the strap. Looks a little high now, but when I ride, looks like it might be spot on. So hopefully that might be the trick. Let's see. Oh never stop on the incline. Alright. Feels higher on my chest now, so I would think we better feud. Oh no, I remember. Go right here. That little black diamond is kind of pointless. I don't like when they do little loops, cutoffs from the trip from the main trail. Yeah, it kind of ruins the flow. But to each his own. Some people like it. This is a uh, lightning. And uh, yeah, this is another flowy section of the trail. You'll pick up some speed here. We're only doing like 12 or 13 miles per hour through here. And here is thunder. And I'm gonna pass the truck loop. 
But this is like my main loop. This is my benchmark loop. I try to get myself to come in here and do uh, well I haven't done it in a while but at one point I was doing three or four loops in here now I'm just doing like one one and a quarter uh, and especially now trying to video and learn and mess with the camera it definitely taken away a little bit from the right time but it makes it worth it if I can get some damn good footage and get a video out finally I'll be happy now I'll keep it in place and see if this works which camera angle will be best we're not gonna stay left here I don't know, this is too high now. Whoa! I almost forgot the brake. Because now my... Oh, let me see. Oh, that looks cool. I think this is it. My camera back strap is actually holding the camera higher. So, and when I look down at the view, uh, it's connected to uh, cell phone the screen it looks like I can see the whole trail ahead of me and that's what I wanted I'm gonna go left this is the back side of the trail here I just passed up a section called Ubiendo and uh, I don't want to be Endo anywhere so <laughs> I usually pass that one and that's just all palm roots well I hope I had three angles I tried. This one. Well, one of them is working. And I think. Oh, one of the ones. I would think this one might be the best. So, I'm using the knockoff GoPro uh, Camp Park X20. My wife bought it for me for Christmas because we were messing around with paddle boards last summer and it comes with a waterproof case. Lo and behold, I told her this is great for mountain biking and she's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> hence started my video. Uh, lessons and how to use it so it's been fun and the video quality is, is great so far I think uh, it's not the greatest it's not a GoPro quality but it's good to start out and uh, the audio seems to be off I don't even know if this is getting what I'm saying the last couple of times I've used it, the audio has been all jacked up. I used it a couple of times with the, the waterproof casing on it. Thinking I didn't want to scratch the lens in case I, I fell or I wiped. But if anybody knows me, I would never fall. <laughs> uh, 
But, so I left it on for that and then I realized that the, that the video was probably not coming out as clear with that casing. And definitely the audio was, didn't sound that great. So, the last couple of times I took it off and uh, I think the video quality has been a little bit better. The audio I'm still trying to work out. I think this ride will be the test to see if it actually captures my voice because it seemed like it was capturing the bike noise the outside noise but not my voice so that was a little weird but we'll see yeah. I always got to try to remember to lean the bike into the turn and not your body it like makes a big difference it's hard to remember it's like I always want to lean with the bike but it just grips so much better if you angle your bike first into the turn Go for another loop and uh, see if I can get this front part here. Morning. Hello. Morning. Hey there. Alright, got some rides out here. Right and early. That's cool. What time is it? Usually nobody's out here. Whoa! That's gotta be the tightest part of the trail. Yeah, if you have some wide bars, you gotta be careful here. When I bought this bike, I cut the bars down to about 670. So, I'm a shorter guy though. My arms don't need to uh, you stretch out that wide. They come like, I think it was like 800. Some crazy amount. Coming up to the log over again. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. No! Oh. <laughs> First time of fall. Sweet. <laughs> Nice and easy. I wish all my fall were that easy. I'd be still trying to race. <laughs> oh, that lift sucks. Especially with a rigid fork. <laughs> Hello everybody, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Steve B with uh, Florida Adventure Trail Riding or Bat Riding. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my first full edit that I'm somewhat happy with and I hope to be able to create some more for you guys. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will check you guys out next time until then get out and ride
Rodeo's are rude. 